so as, as Chris mentioned, um, I'm going to be talking more about the uh, application parts of the communication. And so I'm going to try to try to make this brief as possible, but I think there's, I'm going to highlight a few points and, you know, and Chris has mentioned like, you know, why it's important for communications and just to kind of like summarize that, you know, it's really trying to uh, convey um, what your campaign aims to the constituents and the greater public and constituents can be both electoral as well as the organizing, because again, we want to keep in mind that campaign communications is not just limited to electoral campaigns. It's also for organizing campaigns too, as well. And so, you know, so how, how do we, how do we communicate now? I'm going to skip over a few things because I've done this in a previous uh, an event and probably at a later time we'll talk about it more like framing and um, how do we uh, talk more about people than the event and everything. But before we get there, when we talk about that, uh, when we, how we communicate when it comes to a campaign that there's this, this idea called the Tully box. Um, Paul Tully was a, a Democratic Party operative back in like in the 60s, and he kind of crafted this whole notion, which a lot of folks still use today, called the Tully Box. It's more of a reflection tool. Um, for those who are familiar with like SWOT analysis for business, it's the same thing, but for communication. So the, the, the two um, boxes on top is about us. So we're thinking about how do we think about us from a communication standpoint and what's our opposition? Think about us um, from our perspective, and the bottom two is the opposition. So, what are they? So, what are we saying about the opposition? And what's the opposition saying about us as well? So, when we kind of talk about these four areas, then we can start start crafting themes in our campaign. A lot of folks just want to go right to the theme of the campaign from a communication standpoint, based off your campaign platform, which is fine, but how are we communicating those campaign platforms? You know, um, how are we talking about improved Medicare for all? How are we talking about uh, proportional um, rank voting and everything? Uh, how are we doing that? And we have to do this reflection first, because if we know ourselves in the campaign, as well as our opponents, then we can start talking about these things. Chris talks about bullet points. We can craft bullet points by this reflection. 